Hey guys, welcome back. This is Little Fear Fever, and today we're just having a little bit of update here. It's not inherently a channel update, it's just a little bit of update about how I store my trains and their train boxes. And so I have all of my extra train cars in this set of six shelves, as well as the other little shelf that's out of camera right now. I'll try to get a photo or at least a shot of it later. And so that's where I keep most of my trains and these little lamp posts are just, that, that's a Christmas gift that I haven't put on the layout yet. And so I keep most of my trains in there. I try to sort them out. It's about, I think this one's engines. This one's extra track, extra rolling stock. This one's more extra rolling stock. That one is uh, passenger cars and the bottom is more passenger cars. And so above that is just kind of the little railroad poster here so you can kind of see where I am according to the layout. So I'm just right down this corner here. And these little shelving units work really well. They're by Sterilite. And so they work really well for holding cars. They can fit six HO scale cars across. Obviously for O scale or anything bigger, they don't really work that terribly well. But for this, they do work pretty well. And down actually down here, the bottom, if you see that really blue box, that is the old tunnel from some of my really, really old videos. You have to dig around to find some of those videos because those have kind of been covered up a bit. Sorry for bumping the camera there. But now we've done, done taking a look at these shelves. Now let's take a look at the other shelves, which are right over here. There we go. Here's our other shelves. It was a little bit hard to get them in shot because they are quite a bit taller than the other set. But these ones I designed and built by hand. These are all walnut ones. I can plug the video up in the little eye card there. And so these were obviously a lot more expensive than the plastic shelves, but I feel like these ones look a lot nicer. And also when you are making your own wooden shelves with sidewalls, uh, I added some little notches down there in each little corner. And so that means that I can fit longer rolling stock if their couplers like overextend the little walls that it's in. And that's the one downside with these shelves is that they're not terribly long. So you can't fit, I think it's 70 foot cars are, is, are the max that you can fit in there. 80 foot, you can't fit anything. So that's why my passenger coaches are down in the plastic shelves. All right, now let's look, let's move on to where I store all my boxes. All right, now we have the camera on its tripod really high up, more than normal. It's fully extended and sitting on top of another box, just so we can see over this section here. And so this is just a little box that I have to store some of the irregular shaped boxes. So there's only one in here right now because it doesn't fit in there or in there. And so I will actually have to be getting probably another one of these in the future. This is a wrapping paper box. It's by Sterilite. It's really long so it can fit a lot of your flat boxes. This one back here is just a train world box and I'll pull that up close to you guys. And so it's just packed in with things such as the signal tower kit and all of my lifelike Campbell soup cars. So I'll set this one off to the side. And yeah, train world is upside down. I opened this box upside down years ago, or I think maybe two years ago now. But with the Starlight box here, one nice thing that it has is it can actually fold open. And so you can see all of the boxes lying flat in here. And inside this is entirely full. And so I'm gonna fold open the other side. There you go. You can see all the stuff in there, the spectrum and all those other things. And now if you clip, unclip both ends, you can actually pull off the top fully like a normal container. And so these style work very well. I don't remember the exact dimensions, but it's a 74 quart, and that's its volume. And so yeah, it fits all of the boxes really nicely and all flat. So they, the regular boxes go three deep and then this is actually sitting on top, so it's pushing the roof a little bit, or the, the lid a little bit, but the rest of it is all sitting pretty much flat. And so this is all intricately fit and everything like that. And I guess, so there's more Campbell stuff there and there, and then there's Bachman stuff right there. A lot of Walthers, and below it are a lot more Walthers. And on the edges here, you can see that there's Bachman, Bachman, and some Atherin. And so this works really well, and it's not terribly hard to Get the lid back on. Just a little bit funky at times because it bends in the middle, but it works really well and it is pretty cost effective. 
And so, yeah, for the longest time, I was just only using this trend world box. And so I was obviously overflowing things. So then I was going into my closet and to the other room that you can actually, it's in the back there, there's a little closet space there. And so I was invading that area. So I decided, or my parents and I decided to, that's probably best to get one of these containers and we'll probably get another soon in the future. Just to hold on my stuff. All right, now you reach the end of this storage video. This is just a kind of short filler video before I can film some more trains and other stuff. They're just out of shot here. And so I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching and making it this far in the video. I hope you learned something new about my storage techniques or maybe you learned something about your own. Sorry for kicking the camera there. It is pretty wobbly where it's sitting right now. And so there's more videos coming soon. And of course, planning on doing some live streams soon, maybe plural, maybe just one, but I'm trying to iron out how to do that because I've only done two in the past. So I want to try to see if I can do that and execute that a lot better. And I'd like to thank you guys again. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.